Hi there and welcome to another one of the Squeezebox Advent Calendar entries and uh, it's come around again. It's another one that is officially for sale. Um, so uh, I do apologise <laughs> for tempting you with some weird boxes um, and it might be a little familiar to you. An Eric Martin two row eight base just like the one that started this whole series off but this is in the key of A and D um, which is a lower pitch tuning. It's essentially exactly the same model. It's got two stops, uh, one to take out the thirds and one to, to take out the low reeds. Uh, so it's a three voice instrument. Um, this one, because it's in a lower pitch tuning, uh, normally my instruments start their scale on the fourth button. This one starts on the third button and that makes sense for an AD as well. because It gives you uh, higher notes that are not as high, obviously, on this one. Um, so, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's built in exactly the same way. What I will say is that... Um, I know I criticised the left hand on my Eric Martin. I have to say that in this tuning, or this particular example, it's not as noticeable. Um, the left hand still doesn't sound as full as some, but it doesn't have that kind of feeling of uh, being squashed in, um, like, like the one that I play most of the time. Just had a few little things done to it um, that are, are different to how I would attach things. It's got these uh, straps that are attached by a key ring type uh, affair on the back um, it's had its thumb strap taken off at some point it's like it's like I bought the second hand um, it's got the red stain instead of um, the black finish that I, I've got and you can actually it's quite nice you can see the wood grain through it it's had this little attachment put on here which is uh, I think for clipping a clip microphone onto um, which is a bit more normal than my magnet uh, affair that I use with most of my instruments but this one I've never put the magnets onto it's in much better shape than my other one in DG <laughs> it's got this original air button um, uh, it's not got dings all over the place and it's basically in very nice condition it's uh, tuned a bit fruitier in terms of the tremolo on the right hand side if I uh, get it on, on the two voice sound Um, so yeah, that's the, uh, the the general sound with the third voice in as well. Um, so yeah, let's go straight into that and have a look inside it. Um, uh, I don't think we'll glean much extra information from it uh, than we did with my original Eric Martin, but we might see if there's any difference on the reed blocks in the left hand side, and then we'll play a tune. All right. Okay, so here we are with the red AD Eric Martin. Um, and we're going to have a quick look inside and see how everything is. Um, so just as with the other Eric Martin, it's a one row style construction in that uh, it has two screws going through. Uh, this is different to my other one in that they're flathead screws, not crosshead ones. But I imagine they come off just the same. Okay, so we take off the bellow straps, we should be in. And yes we are. Okay, so uh, reed plates with the binchy reeds again. Um, this one has a different stamp inside. I'll give you a look at the reeds. So we'll just get one of the reed blocks off to have a look. Um, uh, I shan't take off the middle one which has the slider. Uh, and you can see now there is a difference there between my instrument and this instrument in that the uh, the reed blocks are um, waxed in like mine but also have a screw to keep the reed reeds in place. Now mine doesn't have that. Interesting. So yeah, as you can see, binchy reeds in good condition, all the leathers look really new. Certainly nothing curling up. So let's have a look inside the left hand. <clears throat> so here's the left hand side. Um, well, it looks exactly the same as my other my other reed block. Um, so I can't possibly say why it doesn't sound the same. But uh, yeah, attached with three screws. 
So there you have it. Eric Martin, there's a few little differences in terms of the screw types and how uh, the reeds are attached to the blocks. Again, we've got screws holding the heaviest reeds on here on the bases as well. And as they're hanging upside down, um, it makes sense really. So we'll put them back together again. And uh, give you a tune. And there we go. We're all back together again. Um, if I hold it up close, you can see that it's a stain rather than a paint. So you can see the wood grain through the stain. So we'll get on and uh, play a tune on it for you. So, um, yes, uh, this can be yours. Um, it's one of the ones that's been sitting on my shelf. I don't really use AD uh, as a tuning. Um, and uh, yes, I'm asking for 1100 quid for it. Um, that's with a gig bag rather than a hard case um, and the straps that I'm wearing now come with it. So yeah, um, that's about half the price that it would be if you ordered a new one from Eric Martin. Um, well, I suppose I better show you what it does. Um, I'll point out that the tuning on the right hand, I mean, you may have heard that in the first section, the tuning on the right hand isn't 100%. The tremolo could do with a little bit of touching up. Um, but for a second hand instrument, it's in pretty good nick. And I, I think if it was my main playing instrument for gigging, I'd be thinking about getting it tuned. So I'll give you a little tune on it to uh, see what it does. So this is Staines Morris and it'll be in B minor because this is an AD box. Eric Martin, two row in AD. I'll see you in the next one.